Hi everyone. I'm my name is Sino Choi. I'm a uh, FX artist from 3D Workshop in Hong Kong. Uh, we mostly work for the movies, uh, visual effects. Uh, well, for me, I'm just like every kid. I love to uh, watch anime uh, from Japan. I love to uh, play video games um, because they inspire me a lot. Uh, uh, well, un until one day uh, when I watched the cinematic of uh, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, which is in 1999. Uh, it is a uh, amazing open scene uh, and I just want to know how to do that. Uh, after that, I I know there are some scenes uh, they are done in Hong Kong so I decided I need to get into this industry uh, no matter what uh, because I want to do something cool uh, and to do something amazing Yes, uh, there is so much change with China now um, there is a lot of film production uh, shifted to China uh, and they have more resources uh, and manpower so we need to adapt from these changes um, you can see there are lots of big uh, visual effects studios uh, they are establishing their bench company in China and recruiting a lot of people from everywhere um, uh, for Hong Kong post-production, uh, we also changed to do some subtle effects uh, like scene e extensions, uh, some effects enhancement, uh, more than work on a full CGI production. I was studying uh, media arts in Hong Kong art school. Uh, it is a art uh, institution. Uh, and it is a, and I'm studying a higher diploma program, uh, and they teach us some basic techniques of three D software like Maya, and it can be quite costly. Uh, and luckily, you can request some funding or scholarship from the government. Uh, and after that, I learn another software, uh, which is a, three D Studio Max. Uh, when I working in my first uh, VFX company um, I think the best way to train up yourself is to on job training uh, this is the fastest way you can do um, and also nowadays there are many online resources and tutorials uh, there are many great artists sharing their thoughts and techniques uh, like in CBUS channels um, this is a good way to self-learning because most of them are free There are some ups and downs in my VFX career. Uh, at, at first, my position is working on a character animation. Um, well, I still love to do that because they give me uh, many many funds. Uh, it is fun to 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 doing on uh, character animations. Uh, because you are like giving a spirit on a character to make it alive but like I said there are lesser full CGI movies in Hong Kong so uh, instead instead of we need more gunshots uh, explosion uh, destruction uh, so I changed my position to a FX artist uh, five years ago uh, I think uh, there are some mem memorable moments uh, is to communicate with uh, many great people like uh, different directors uh, and CG supervisors. Um, this is a good way to share ideas and it helped a lot to improve my field of vision. Uh, I use Autodesk uh, 3D Max uh, for working all the time. Uh, I think it is a great software uh, that it has many plug-in support 
like TP, uh, which is thinking particles. Uh, and I think they are very similar. And I think Maya and Max are very similar right now. Uh, just different workflow. Uh, and I like the curve editor when working on character animation in Maya. I was uh, working in a uh, VFX studios, and it is a three D workshop uh, about five years ago, and those projects are uh, done in my first three years in this company. In the first few projects, uh, we are using uh, P-Fold, uh, which is a particle fold, uh, which is a built-in plugin in, in uh, 3D Studio Max. Uh, but for some advanced if effects, uh, we need a particle system to be more precise, precisely. Uh, a better way to um, caching uh, a great dynamic simulation uh, and on uh, and great on factoring. Uh, so I advise them to work with uh, thinking particles. Uh, it was uh, new to, uh, uh, and it was tough to set uh, things up at the first time uh, because it is a rule based system uh, quite different from the p uh, which is using a event based system uh, but it did a great job on some complicated uh, scene and very powerful, uh, which is very great. Uh, well, it is quite pain in the ass. <laughs> to find more information about TP uh, in Hong Kong, but uh, for Asia, uh, it is luckily to have some VFX artists like uh, Hammer Chen and JC Lin from Taiwan to share their thoughts uh, and introduction of TP. Uh, and after various great people sharing their tutorials and tricks of TP in the internet, uh, we know we are on the right path. Uh, and also have more in-depth knowledge of this system. Full stride uh, and cold war, the because the opening sequence of uh, full stride was more creative parts uh, on designing the badminton shape of a uh, meteor which is quite fun to working on it uh, and working on a setup to create different shapes of clouds uh, also to create some realistic sparks uh, which is the best to use a uh, rules based uh, particle system like TP And for the cold wall, uh, we need to work on the big explosion scenes. Uh, I create a setup to control the shape of the of the explosion and also the the direction, uh, which is flexible and handy to use. Uh, and also to store the color map uh, to simulate a more realistic smoke uh, based on the texture map. Uh, and it can save more time and let everyone to use it without uh, to learning TP, uh, which is uh, very 
good uh, to our projects. Wait, hello. Now, The topless uh, one to date, I would say it, uh, is the full stride uh, because we don't have much time on the pre-production uh, so I need to make sure the setup is uh, working well. Um, as I remember, we have about two weeks to finish all, all five uh, sequence uh, from concept to render, so it is quite Tough. Um. Oh, so uh, value to value, I must say, uh, it, this is a powerful note. Uh, since uh, it comes, it comes up to TP, uh, and I love this uh, very much. Uh, because uh, in the past, uh, we need to normalize some value and to control any particle data uh, but now it is a handy tool uh, to do anything like you can change the size the age or the positions uh, with the uh, with an easy in easy out uh, or loop or you can loop the the value just very powerful uh very and very practical I think both are important uh, in my opinion uh, if you aim for some realistic purpose uh, it is definitely uh, a technical a technology way uh, but for some creative uh, effects uh, or achieve some crazy ideas uh, all you need is uh, artistic inspiration to support your idea and I see nowadays uh, many people are working on um, on a procedural workflow. Uh, it is more flexible to change without uh, to rebuild your your setup. Um, uh, that means you just need to use ninety percent of time to build the setup uh, and just ten percent of time uh, working on the sort. Um, I think it is a great advantage in the future. We mainly using the uh, 3D Max. Uh, I think that uh, it is absolutely straightforward and perfectly work with uh, thinking particles. Uh, because you can import any mesh to factor by using the volume brick, or you can work with its uh, dynamic uh, by using the SC or bullet physics, um, or you can also import or export the data channel. And you can also uh, cache it out um, uh, to process the render, and it also support the alembic. Uh, so it is pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, yes, absolutely, uh, and it is super helpful. Uh, uh, when you build build a new setup, you can save your time, uh, like creating uh, a graffiti again, uh, or we can share ideas by saving out the back blocks uh, instead of saving out the scene. Uh, the great thing uh, is to create a setup for any non FX artist. Uh, they can change any parameters without spending time to pick up the, the TP. Uh, 
As I mentioned before, uh, many film production they are moving to China right now. Uh, also the TV shows uh, and the dramas. Uh, some of my friends they are working in China right now. Uh, they are looking for uh, many uh, talented artists. They are highly competitive in this market. Uh, so we have to keep up uh, and we are trying to raise our quality to maintain our production value too. Uh, I think there are advantages uh, to work as a, as a freelancer. Uh, you can work on different projects. Uh, sometimes they are challenging and fun, uh, but they are risks to take. Uh, like it is uh, hard to get the payment back, uh, or you can or you can't get any support light uh, when the farm if you are not working for a studio. Uh, yes, uh, there is a film called uh, Project at, at Gutenberg. Uh, we released it on October. Uh, it is a fun project uh, and uh, there are many big destructions uh, using TP. Uh, uh, sorry about that, I, can, I can't tell you more, but uh, it is a great movie to watch. Okay, uh, welcome back to the Vancouver Hong Kong time zone day two of the interview. Thank you to Sino Choi for being here. Yeah, we just saw this um, October 4 release big movie uh, from Hong Kong, China, and it stars Zhou Yuan Fett and uh, Aaron Kwok. So they are big stars in the East. So maybe Sino can touch on his own passions. Um, like what kind of movies would uh, fire him up and all his creative juice, what he wants to do in the future? I always want to work on some great projects uh, like those Marvel Heroes project, uh, uh, big scene destructions uh, and or some project related to my uh, childhood animes like uh, Pale, uh, Will Pair One. Uh, to work with some great artists to create some amazing effects to show the world uh, what I can do. Uh, finally, I hope one day there is a uh, full CGI movies project in, in Hong Kong. So it's time to wrap things up with Sino here. So our final question is what is his wish for thinking particles? What kind of power features he would like to see that he's not currently getting. Um, and we will also be showing his uh, visual effects, uh, some breakdowns and the scenes that he has worked on. Um, I, I think there, there are a lot of things that TV can do already, uh, from bullet physics, uh, soft bodies and fluids, uh, and the latest APF uh, feels uh, great new features. Uh, I don't know if I have missed something uh, already have in TP. Um, maybe have some volume controls, uh, a 2D or 3D turbulent noise looked, uh, a building uh, boolean cut uh, for volume break, uh, or a spreadsheet uh, uh, something to view the current data channel or for for the debugging. Uh, maybe one more crazy crazy ideas. Uh, 
uh, if there are some Chinese uh, tutorial or help support uh, just letting more people uh, to pick up easily uh, that will be great